Well, the month of October is a very special month for me. Number one, I was born in October. So on the 12th of October, I'll be celebrating my birthday. But also, October is the month where we celebrate the victory of Jesus over all kinds of evil spirits. Going all the way back to the time of Martin Luther, when on uh, uh, this particular day, he uh, uh, the, the 31st of October, he nailed the uh, 95 Theses on the door of the church in Wittenberg and started the Protestant Reformation. So it's a great month. But for many people, it's a month of uh, being scared. They like to talk about scary things. So I'm going to talk to you today about a time that I got really scared. And I don't think it was in October. It was probably in December or January, but it was in the winter time. And uh, there was, uh, I was a paper boy. That is, I delivered papers early in the morning, newspapers, and uh, starting about 4.30 in the morning, and it was so cold, and there was one house on my paper route that sat way back up off the road, and it had a lot of trees and a long, winding sidewalk, and it was a scary-looking house, and I hated delivering papers there because as I would walk up that winding uh, uh, sidewalk, I would begin to get a little bit scared. Well, on one particular morning, I maybe had seen something on uh, television or at the movies that was kind of scary, and I was more scared than normal. And it had been raining that day, and as I was walking up that sidewalk, I began to hear something, and clunk, 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 and it sounded like somebody was following me. And so I looked around real fast, and I didn't see anybody. And when I stopped, I didn't hear the sound. And I started walking again, and I clunk, clunk. I found out later that it was some things I had in my pocket. And as I was walking, they were kind of making a noise. But it sounded like it was coming from behind me. So I kept walking and kept walking, walk a little faster, and the sound would get a little faster, of course. I'd slow down, the sound would slow down. And I thought, somebody is after me. And so I had my newspapers in my hand. I usually delivered one paper to this house, and then I had had five other houses on the same street. And so I had all six newspapers rolled up and in my hand, and I was walking up to the porch. And I got up on that porch, and I was listening, and I was so scared. My heart was beating so fast. And, and I took another step, and they had a cat. And that cat was laying on the front porch, and I stepped on that cat. And when I stepped on the cat, of course, it went meow like that. And I went meow, and I threw my newspapers up in the air, and I took off running back down that uh, sidewalk. And when I got back to my bicycle, I suddenly realized I'm going to have to go back up to that house and get my five newspapers that I threw up in the air, and I did. But it was a terrifying experience for me, and I wish I had known the verse that says, What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. Where is that found? Psalm 56, 3. That's a good way to remember that, by the way. And if I had just known to just put my trust in the Lord, then I would not have been so terrified.